So, little over three hours till kickoff. Um, quite nervous, excited, glad the season started. Absolutely bored out my fucking box watching all this shitty cricket and tennis and all that bollocks. So, so yeah, kind of, kind of nervous, but excited and sitting waiting in anticipation for for the boys to come out tonight. Um, team lineups out in a couple of hours. Um, yeah, come on the Arsenal. So, the team lineup has just been announced. Um, bit of a shock, actually, because Mesut Ozil's starting. Um, I didn't think he'd start. Um, a lot of people in the comments section on my last video did. I was quite shocked he was starting, especially after Wenger said he was injured. But he's made a miraculous recovery. And let's see if, it, um, see if that makes the difference tonight. So... I'm still fully confident, still think we're going to batter him 4-0, and I still think Lacazette's going to score a hat-trick. Shades of Ian Wright on his league debut. Come on, Arsenal! Wow, what have I just watched? Unbelievable. Started off so well. The main man up front, that is what you pay 50 million quid for. That is the striker we've been crying out for for 10 years. One chance, bang, goal. No fucking about, goal. 90 seconds, Premier League debut, unbelievable, fair play to the geezer man, absolutely love him to bits already, he's been tracking back, he's been, he's been getting his foot stuck in, he's, he's brilliant, absolutely buzzing with him, um, but then where do we go from there, Peter Cech, if, if you're going to come out mate, you wipe everyone out, end of story, unbelievable, shocking goalkeeping, this is supposedly a world-class goalkeeper. Too many mistakes in him for my liking. But I'm not going to go full negative, but I am going to move on to the second goal. The second goal for Leicester was an absolute calamity. Gave the ball away in midfield, passed it to absolutely nobody. Then Hector Bellerin, supposedly world-class. Nah, mate, he shouldn't even be on the pitch. I've said it umpteen times in previous videos. The geezer can't defend, he can't attack, he's just a middle of the range, <coughs> excuse me, nothing player. At the end of the day, that goal could have been maybe stopped. I'm not saying it's going to be 100% stopped, but Bellerin was jogging back. Didn't even try and apply pressure on the player who put the ball in. I can't even remember who crossed it now. Yeah, but again, schoolboy defending. It's pathetic. Yeah, then, you know, we... We, we score right on half time. And yes, it was a great finish. Like, you know, he nearly missed it, but it was a great little move and the pressure was being turned up in the last few minutes. But how many times have our centre-backs, Rob Holden and Said Kolasinac, been over halfway? Seriously. Bombing forward. Kolasinac had a shot in the first half. Um, he set up the goal from near the penalty spot. Why is he, as a centre-back for this game... In the box. Rob Holding, worst game he's ever played for Arsenal. And I'm not going to dig him out too much because at the end of the day, he ain't got a recognised, experienced centre-back stood next to him. In fact, he ain't even got a recognised centre-back stood next to him. He's got two left-backs. <laughs> you know, we're playing square pegs in round holes. You've got Oxlade-Chamberlain left wing-back. In my opinion, take off Bellerin, stick Ox at right-back, bring on Mustafi... And then put Kolasinac left wing back. Wow. Where do we dissect that fucker? Where do we start? Seriously, that second half was a fucking shambles. Yeah. Not one person can come on here and tell me that we ain't papering over the cracks. That was embarrassing. Um, you know, Bellerin, shocking. Gave away the, the, the ball. They get a corner and then we zonal mark. Same old shit. Year in, year out. Um, after that, we then bring on... Um, Giroud and Ramsey and wow fair play to Wenger because them two fucking substitutions actually scored goals and Ramsey's goal was top draw but in my opinion and it is only my opinion soon as that third goal went in for Leicester you take Hector Bellerin off and you bring Mustafi on 
You then put Ox at right wing back. You put Mustafi holding and Monreal at left uh, at centre backs. Yeah, and put Kalasinac left wing back. At one point in that game, in the second half, we are playing Hector Bellerin at left wing back. We're playing two left backs at centre back. We didn't have a single centre back on the pitch because we had Oxley Chamberlain at uh, right centre back at one stage. And then we're playing our main striker, our fifty million pound striker at left wing. It's embarrassing. Yeah? Seriously, he's got out of jail tonight. Yeah, and I'm fucking ecstatic we've won that. I can't I literally cannot believe we have won that game because do you know what? It's unreal. Yeah, it is unbelievable. We went into the game against Liverpool last season so underprepared. I'm not being funny, but we're even more underprepared this season. And now we roll on to Stoke and then Liverpool afterwards. Both away games. We need to fix the fuck up because we're nowhere near at the minute. You can't be shipping three goals at home and expect to be up there like challenging for the title. But that being said, we did get the win tonight. It is only the first game of the season. We've got out of jail. How many times are going to fucking say that this season? Anyway, up the Arsenal. Don't forget, smash the like button to pieces, hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on, and follow me all season. Fuck, you know, I might be dead by about January. Jesus Christ. Laters, peeps.